hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am doing this makeup look and this is actually a recreation and it is a instagram makeup artist that i follow her name is stacy marie mua and i love the colorful looks that she creates they're very blown out um towards the temples very you see a lot of cut creases a lot of double eyeliners a lot of triple eyeliners a lot of double cut creases all these really cool makeup looks and i just wanted to recreate at least one of them so yeah if you guys would like to see how I got this makeup look and would also like to see me do more makeup recreations like this. I'm thinking, I don't know, what do you guys think? Like Patrick Star, Nikki Tutorial, I don't know, Jacqueline Hill. What makeup look would you guys like me to recreate or what specific uh, YouTuber or instagrammer would you guys like me uh to do a makeup recreation so yeah i will now stop talking and we will get right into the video now i'm going to be using um a morphe palette and a beauty creations palette because whatever color i don't have on one i will have it in the other in the igtv video she starts out with a deep matte royal blue so yeah that is exactly what i'm going to do i am going to go in the order that she did in the igtv video just because i want to see like if i get the same outcome with the makeup look she went in with the skin toned p louise color base she went in with a deep blue base uh it first and then added the blue eyeshadow on top but i don't have one so i'm just going to go directly in with the color so she began to apply it to the outer corner and then just brought it in words as you can see now just look at that. I mean, if that is not pigmentation and great color payoff, I don't know what is. And I'm just hoping I won't get any fallout because I have my whole face of makeup done, which is a whole nother separate video on its own. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to this eye. So, I will finish up this eye um, as soon as I get ahead on this one. So, I'm just going to take a blending brush and just slightly blend this. So now, I'm going to take a deep purple. And I'm going to layer that on top until I get the most um, darkest that I can out of the purple. And I'm going to bring it in all the way. This orangey shade from the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. And I'm going to take this small little blending brush and apply it on the top part of the crease overlapping it just a little bit now 
also on this area right here in the front. Just connect it. So now I'm going to take this color right here and I'm taking it with a large blending brush and I'm going to apply that on top of the orange as well. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the deep purple and I'm going to mix it with a black and apply it to this outer part and bring it like halfway in. I just really want to add some depth to the look. So I'm going to use the Balm Concealer to cut my crease. So I'm going to begin with a deep forest green and then, then I'm going to go in with like a brighter green and then we will go on the very inner corner with a yellow. So we're going to begin with the deep forest green shade which is what I feel um, the eyeshadow look has the most of on the lid. And now we are going to apply the shimmery yellow. Right now, between the deep uh, forest green and the yellow, I'm going to apply a lighter shimmer green. And that's just going to give it more of a blended look. And now I can go back in with the forest green shade, whatever's left on the brush, and just tap on top of it. All right, so now I am going to add a deep plum purple to the bottom left line, connecting it to the outer corner. And even though I'm going to have to extend the outer corner, it's fine, because that's just going to help um, give my eyeshadow look the depth that I want. And now I'm going to blend this part first by pulling it. Now with the pencil brush, my 
hiding the bottom lash line. So now I'm going to set the lash line with a dark purple. Now with that warm toned yellow that I applied the first time around, now I'm going to reapply it to this outer part of the eye and just blend it upwards into the temple like she did. Alright, so I'm going to let them dry. So for the lips, it looks like she has like a lip stained look, like a popsicle lip stained look, and then just gloss on top of that. So I'm going to just do something similar because I think it would look really pretty that way. For that, I'm just going to take a little bit of this coral shade and I'm going to mix it with the pinky shade. My uh, fingers are all stained from the eyeshadow. Okay, so then we can add the lip gloss on the Got some full on lip polish. And I love these because they are a plumping formula, but they don't burn and they are just very comfortable high shine lip glosses. Now, I don't have a clear one. I'm pretty sure I used to have one, but I don't know what happened to it. Uh, not like a clear one, but it was like um, just an iridescent type of color. Um, it was really pretty but I can't find it anywhere so I'm just going to use this one and it is in the shade Dolly so now I am going to add some highlight to my um, cheekbone and for that, I'm going to apply Oprah Cosmetics Rodeo Dry, which is this one right here. All right, so this is the final makeup look. So yeah, I just added some lashes and I also added a very deep navy blue eyeliner to my waterline because I did notice in the picture that she um, had one. I feel like it's not identical by any means but my attempt was good so if you would like to see more makeup uh, recreations like this, uh, let me know down below in a comment. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!